Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Frank here, Cub Cadet Mini Dozer, making some good progress. I've got uh, one track completed and installed, and I'm working on the second track. I've got all the track plates welded up. I've got my welding jig set up here on the bench for welding the chain to the pads and in the last episode or the episode before maybe we talked about this uh, this alignment jig here indexes on this bolt puts a outside link on the center of the pad the pad fits in against two stops so the pads held in position can run a, run a bead there I'm not gonna film or show you this whole thing. I'm going to do a few and then we'll cut to putting the chain together, putting the track together and uh, putting it on the other side of the dozer. so this is the last track plate I've got this link you know inside to make sure that that doesn't get um, compressed so that it you know wouldn't fit and I think I've got it lined up pretty well Okay, so that'll become the master master link. All right, done welding up the track. We let things cool. 
All right, so that's the last of the track plates. Track is welded up. It's taken me, I think I've had four different short sessions here trying to follow the advice of not um, exceeding the duty cycle on my welder, which I have not done in the past since I started welding these any of these plates up. So it's just taken, you know, shorter sessions and you know to go and do something else. All right, so this track is is complete and uh, we'll just I'll have to let it cool and then we'll throw it down on the floor <laughs> like we did the other one episode before last. There's no easy way to manage this track. It's so cumbersome and heavy. What I did last time, if you saw it, episode, I think, before last, I just dumped it off the table onto the floor and then dragged it over to the, to the dozer. So this one, I'm going to put the master link in it and I'm going to put it on, attempt to uh, put it on the, the tractor in, as a loop, as a continuous loop, as opposed to putting it on and then putting the link in it. Put the link in it first and then put it on. I think that will be easier. I'm gonna give it a shot. I need to practice doing that in case it comes off sometime. I need to be able to do that. And uh, so I've already got the tension wheel in its uh, lowered position here. So all I need to do is slide it underneath and lift it over the wheels and see how it goes. So once I get that track on, then I'm getting really close to running the tractor. All I have to do for the engine is add fuel. I think it's all ready to go. And then I'm going to I'll put extensions on the control levers, bring them up, you know, another foot. And then we'll probably try to take it for a spin. <laughs> we'll see if we can do that. All right. We'll come back when this track cools off. All right, so that's got the pin in it. Now I'll spot weld this once I'm once I can confirm that I can get it on the on the tractor.
Now they got the tracks on, run the transmission with the drill and the tracks seem to work. So I think the next thing is going to be getting the engine running. So, all right, it's, uh, it's pretty late. I'm going to head in the house. We'll come back tomorrow, see if we can get the engine running.
All right, so first spin of the dozer seemed to work, seemed to work great. Uh, I couldn't tell any difference between the two tracks on, you know, since one's driven from the, let's see, left rear and right front, tracks are driven from both either each end, opposite ends. I mean, I couldn't tell difference. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe somebody with more experience would be able to tell the difference, but they seem to operate the same. The controls are very sensitive. I may change the connecting link underneath to the less sensitive hole. There's one more hole I can connect it to. Um, but uh, other than the battery having a little trouble starting it, um, I put the, char put the charger on it for a bit. That battery, I think, is is not long for this world. Okay, so let's see what it looks like after running for a few minutes on a gravel driveway. I mean, there's some dirt on the track frame, but, you know, I don't see any issues with the, I mean, bogeys or You know, even though I don't, there are no grousers on the tracks, they had plenty of, um, well, they had enough fr enough traction to move the tractor around. So I'm not sure what that means for pushing, pushing anything. So, all right, I got a few more things to do on this. I want to um, start looking at the fenders and the seat arrangement here. I have to think a little bit about how to get on and off. Uh, you know, I'm not real comfortable climbing over these handles sticking up. So maybe the thing for them is to remove them so I don't fall on them and hurt myself in some dramatic way. The tensioner, tensioning and detensioning the belt to allow starting worked fine. I think the idea is start it standing next to it with it, the belt disengaged to get the engine running, get into the um, operator's seat, and then engage that tensioner so the belt turns the transmissions. I, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it, to be honest with you. It worked out, it worked out as, as well as I could expect, I think. I'm going to wrap this episode up at this point. Got the dozer out and running. Major, um, major accomplishment. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it operated. Uh, we'll come back next episode, work on the fenders. I've got some um, planning to do for the fenders. I'm going to raise the seat and we'll start working on the fenders trying to protect the operator. I had no problem with my feet in the footwell, but, but you know, within the tracks, I didn't feel like my leg was at risk or anything. There seems to be plenty of leg room there. That worked out. I think that'll be fine when we put a, a you know, safety panel there to prevent the operator's legs from getting into the track. But uh, I think there's plenty of room, plenty of room for that. I was concerned about that. Okay, leave a comment, subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up, would appreciate all that. Thank you guys for watching, see you next time.